Hi everybody, Jeff Kaplan here. Uh, I'm here to show you the new Hearthstone expansion. <laughs> so, you're playing Hearthstone and you're opening a bunch of booster packs. Well, we're playing Hearthstone. And yes, we're no, back uh, after. I never played Hearthstone. Okay, well, still. Back at it again at Let's Play for after years. Yeah, boy. Uh, it's been over a year since yeah, the last video. It has. But yeah, we're we're back with this special episode of Hearthstone. I pre-ordered the uh, the Frozen Throne Knights of the Frozen Throne expansion, and I figured, what better way to celebrate the game than with one of its biggest fans in the world, my my brother Kieran, and opening fifty six packs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You want to tell some more lies? <laughs> we should probably get started with the packs. We could talk over opening the packs. What are the 11? Those are classic packs. Okay. Those are like... Those are cards that have been in the game since the game launched. Mm -hmm. Now, the neat thing when you open packs in Hearthstone is that uh, when you hover over them, it can kind of show you the quality. So, like, that one's rare because it glows blue. <gasps> and the rest of the pack is shit. Also, this is the first time That's I've ever... That's a good one! Is that a good one? I can't tell. Ooh, that one's nice. That one's nice. Poisonous is strong. That's nice. Mm. A lot of poisonous and lifesteal in this expansion. Yeah, at this point, this expansion has only been out for, like, what, two, three hours? Yes. Uh, like... It came out at 3 p.m. It's now, like, what, five? Yeah. Dude, you're dating it too much! No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kidding. Nah, but, like, I was talking... Ooh! About... <laughs> what? Oh, Hadronox. Okay. Every time I see... I got Legendary. Okay. I was talking to a bunch of people I know on, like, a Discord, and, like, the thing they were talking about is, like, I don't know about, like, princes, but, like... Oh, the three princes. Well, there were, like, four. There might be four. You mean, like, in Warcraft? Uh, as cards. Yeah, yeah, but, like, you know, they're from Warcraft. Yeah, because yeah, because everything's Hearthstone. from yeah. Warcraft here. You know, they, they were they're from Warcraft. I know who you're talking about. Uh, Prince Keleseth... Uh, and then there's a couple others. I can't remember their names. Nice. See one, one for four. <laughs> one for four, yeah. <laughs> Doing good. I know, thanks. I would, I would I pass try. you on that, Grade. Oh, thank you. I try really hard. Forge of Souls. How is a Forge of Souls a warrior? Or do you equip it on a warrior? Oh, yeah, no, it's a, it's a card for a warrior. You don't, like, unpack the, uh, the heroes themselves. You unpack cards for them. Oh, that was one of the best cards uh, in the set, actually. The Akaris Veteran we just got. I think, like, pretty much every Hearthstone uh, streamer is like, yeah, that card's going to be insane. And I just got one, so that's cool. Phantom Freebooter? Yes, Pirates. What pirates is a semi-popular uh, deck archetype. Why Pirates in I'm the like, Frozen even... Throne expansion? Well, it's just because, like, not the whole expansion is... Well, it, it's sort of like all the cards are Frozen Throne themed, but they put... But, you know, there'll be other archetypes, and they put the Frozen Throne theme on them. So, like... Where's Arthas? Where's Kel'Thuzad? Oh, no, Arthas is in this, actually. He is, uh... He's a legendary card, and he's... In the pre-release stuff, people are saying he's probably going to be super strong, but at the same time, nobody really knows what the meta's going to be. Yeah, whatever. So. Give me the Chili Boys. <laughs> chili Boys? Give there me. he is. Chill Blade Champion. There's your Chili Boy. <laughs> the Chili Boy! There's the Chili Boy There's right my there. There's right there. All right. Only 50 more packs to go. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I got, I got extra packs on top of the 50 from, like, doing events leading up to it. I bought 350 cards? What the hell? Why not buy 350 more? But yeah, anyway, uh, the, like, the expansion is Frozen Throne themed, but that doesn't mean everything is going to be, like, an undead or something like that. It just means, like, they could still have pirates, but they're gonna be, like, zombie pirates. Or, or that, like, it Sometimes it still they're is, skeletons. Yeah. It's all gonna be Frozen Throne themed because what they'll do is they'll take, like, a normal hero and, like, and they'll make them, them undead. And turn them into a yeah. death knight. Yeah. And, like, that's, that's how the expansion works. So, like, they can still have pirates, except the ones they add here are gonna be, like, undead pirates. And Pirates is sort of a popular deck archetype, because it's it's all about, like, uh, flooding... I think it's an aggro deck. Like, you flood the board, and, like, for warriors, you can, like, equip weapons. Ooh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. But where's Crystal Maiden from Dota 2? <laughs> oh, that's a really good question. But where's really Winter good... Wyvern from Dota 2? Oh, well, I found, uh... What's his name? I found, uh... Obsidian, Obsidian Destroyer. Stack. Oh, yeah, huh. Yeah, there he is. But where's Tusk from Dota 2? Also, fucking look at this bear shark. 
I can tell you that was I do not recall bear sharks in WoW, but bear there shark. it is. Yeah. Is that a meme? Because I remember seeing forever ago like bear shark, like a flash series created by someone. I can't remember. It was animated. It could be. Uh, I think that's my third bear shark, so that's getting disenchanted. That's five dust right there. That's one eighth of another common card. I just imagine like the dwarf or whatever in the tavern playing Hearthstone, and oh, he's just like, card. "Oh, I already have like eight of this card," and he crushes it in his two hands. <laughs> and it turns into dust. No, I don't what? need me another one of those. <laughs> Let's roll the bones. See. This seems okay. Oh, this is supposed to be a pretty good card. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I thought this was one of the princes. <laughs> like that that's what they look like. That's what Sanguine they look like. Sanguine Revelator. Yeah. Behold, I'm shocking. So Forty three packs to go. We're doing good. And I already got a legendary, so I'm happy. What was that? Everything was that thing? Oh, despicable. Oh another despicable dreadlord. dreadlord. Sweet. That's supposed to be like one of the best ones this set. Yeah, sure it is. It's not the best unless it's Arthas, or Kel'Thuzad, or another Frozen Man. You know, I think Kel'Thuzad was already in the game, because they did Naxor Mess a long time ago. No. Oh. That was actually, like, I think that was the first set, actually. Look, you got Pit Lord, you got, you got, you got Tinker up there. Yep, yep, Tinker. I think this is, like, my third Chill Blade Champion. He seems kind of cool, though. Easily, like, your eighth Chill Blade Champion. Yeah, easily. I'm not even totally paying attention to the oh, cards. Oh, there was Tuskar. So it was it was Tusk, you know. You know yeah, what I'm oh, saying? yeah, it's Tusk. I'm not even really paying attention to the cards. I'm just looking for legendaries, really. Connor, how are you gonna build decks? If I don't you know. know your cards. That's a good question. Dark conviction. So, Karen, are you uh, enjoying Hearthstone yet? Animated Berserker. Oh, and look, the card's art is animated. Oh, oh I yeah. got it. No. Well, well, I mean, like, that's because it's a golden card. Golden cards have animated art. Yeah, whatever. And you can get golden versions of any card. No. And they'll no. all be animated. It's cool. It's cool. Like, come on. You gotta How give many that of the cards in Hearthstone, like, reuse art that they've previously used in Blizzard stuff? Oh, okay. Uh, there are That's some. That's easily but... your 28th Chill Blade yeah. champion. I know. I got. I got. Got to have my Chili Boys. Got to get them. Got to get my Chili Boys. Yeah. But anyway, back oh, to... this is supposed to be one of the best cards in the set. Yeah. But anyway, back card. to reused art. Oh yeah. Uh, it does happen, but the thing is, a lot of the cards use original art. So like, especially earlier on in the game, uh, they would reuse art. Like for example, uh, when I first started. Uh, oh, actually, no, just the other day, because you see I got these 11 packs over here. I bought the mm -hmm. Welcome Pack, and when you buy the Welcome Pack, you get a random legend. Are you serious? <laughs> two Sanguine Revelers in the same pack, and I already have two. So that's just dust. That's 10 dust right there, and another Despicable Dreadlord. That's nice, because that's... Wretched Tiller. It's going to be, like, some... But anyway, uh... The other day I got the Grom Hellscream Legendary when I bought the Welcome Pack, because <laughs> they give you a free Legendary when you buy that. Mm -hmm. And, uh... That reuses an old Grom Hellscream art, so it does happen, but most of the time it's original art. Like, all of these cards are original art. I would venture to say that all of Frozen Throne, even the Lich King, uses new art that they created just for Hearthstone. Mm. Because, like, a lot of cards in Hearthstone, like, they're not specific things, you know? Shadow like, Blade. this is a random-ass zealot. This is a random ass necromancer, you know? It's like they don't have like specific arts of these characters. Yeah. They just took like an undead and then put like an armor set from WoW on it and then like level 20 shoulder pads and created a new card. So yeah, that's that. I hope I'm not leaning into the mic too much. I don't know. Uh, can you stop kissing the mic? No, 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 don't do that. What? It'll be fine. We have the foam top on. They don't on like it. that. <laughs> they don't like, they don't like Barriers, this. Connor. You need to keep a distance of at least 7,328 feet. Okay? Gotcha. And Death Axe Punisher. Also, we're like 10 minutes in, and Very we're nice not pull. even halfway through Very nice cars. pull from the player. Very nice pull. Very nice pull. Let's see. Oh, he's reaching for another pack. Let's see, let's see how, next. let's see if he can pull it off, Cotton. And it is. Oh, a rare. Three commons, and... Ooh, he overextended. He tried to make it happen, but Knock unfortunately he just couldn't. That was pretty shit. That was pretty shit. <laughs> he that unfortunately was pretty shit just couldn't, card. just couldn't make anything happen. Ooh, a gold. Oh, and that's one of the better. best cards in the set. 
But how can you tell if one of these guys is like level 110, huh? What's the max oh, now? Point. It's 110. It is 110. Huh? Yeah. Tuscar Fisherman. It's Tusk! <laughs> Tusk! Punch it, punch. Punch it, punch. It's fucking punch. Also, this is like my fourth bear shark, something like that. God, what the heck? Yeah. <laughs> Is it a bear and a shark fighting or what? No, it's it's like it looks like it's like either some unholy combination of the two, or it's like a druid who like messed up his shapeshift and ended <laughs> up half shark, half bear. Oh, a gold. That's cool. Someone a five five cop. Hey, that's I don't know actually. Shit, no I guess if you stack your deck with the right five fives. Ooh, death axe punisher and embrace darkness. No princes yet. Yep, no princes yet. <laughs> I'm keeping my eyes peeled for the princes. How do you feel I'm about sort of halfway through the cards artifact? Uh, I think it's gonna be awesome. The new Dota Hearthstone card game. I'm excited similar. for it. Cause like you know they haven't showed anything for it yet. Yeah, I know. But like going depth, what do you think is gonna be like? Ooh. Is that? Ooh, I got Death Knight Gul'dan. But that's awesome. But it's not. But it's not a prince, though. No, it's not a prince. That's right. <laughs> That's unfortunate. He's kind of the prince of darkness. The prince of all saints. But anyway, no, I'm excited for artifact. Like, uh, I mean, a lot of people are focusing on like the crowd reaction artifact, yeah. and like, you know, it's sort of understandable when you just say out loud like, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a Dota card game. The but crowd at the same also time, like booed when they heard the Pudge Arcana is coming. Oh, Pudge 1? Pudge 1. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was yeah. hoping for Rubik. You know what's funny? I saw a post by someone on the internet on Reddit or something, and it was like, I can't wait for the Pudge Arcana, and it shows Pudge wearing, like, some of the pirate set he got in-game recently, along with, like, the grapple shot hook, like, you know, uh, what's it called? Immortal item he got from, like, last year, and the, like, That's slug the arm he got from this year. Mm -hmm. And it does look like its own fucking thing. Like, Pudge is too much. <laughs> oh, man. But I was also gonna say, on Artifact, they said, basically, there, it's gonna play a little like Dota 2, but as, like, a card game. Because there's gonna be, like, three lanes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. There's gonna be like three lanes for cards. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I think that idea. You put the heroes in the lanes, bot, top, mid, whatever, and then you equip them with stuff, and you play cards that affect that lane. Mm -hmm. I don't know like how it's gonna be, but like Valve always has interesting monetization. If they make the cards free, if they make booster packs free somehow, and the monetization is all in cosmetic stuff for your board and for your card backs and stuff, that could be interesting. I don't play online TCGs, but, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, it could be really interesting. I mean, you know, not having to, uh, you know, drop real money on yeah. packs and, you know, just having access to the cards, that could be interesting. Yeah. Although, I'd be lying if I said, and this is going to sound like the shittiest, most anti-consumer thing possible. Uh-huh, go for it. But I'd be lying if I said it's not fun opening packs and seeing what you get. Like, you that's, that is part of the fun. Spending your money yes. on virtual cards. You think someone would just do that? Spend <laughs> real world money on virtual items? I don't know. I don't know. Ask every game that has had DLC since like 2007. Yeah. Oh! Ooh, it's epic. purple. Oh, Drakari Enchanter. Hey, that's cool. The Drakari. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I'm excited for Artifact. Uh, it's not like I'm looking for a game to replace Hearthstone or anything. Yeah. But if it's like the Dota 2 to Heroes of the Storm, which I enjoy both games, like I think that could be cool to play alongside Dota. Yeah. It's uh, just... Not alongside Hearthstone. Yeah. Play alongside Hearthstone. I mean, you know how like like uh, I get with this stuff. Jesus Christ! Two more Sanguine Revelers. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I love Valve games, but I'm not gonna hop on, uh, you know, Artifact. You know. Not gonna hop on the. Uh... Nah. In fact, I was gonna say, like, you know, there's already kind of that oversaturation of online card games going on, but Hearthstone remains at, like, the top. I mean, even if I don't care for it, I'm gonna say, oh yeah, it's probably the best one right now, because everybody's playing it and they don't complain about it. Though I have heard that, like, Blizzard kind of fills the booster packs with shit legendaries from some people. I don't know. I mean, there probably are shit legendaries. I don't... L 
I don't know too much about like all the legendaries in the game. I mean, I only know like a handful because I'm yeah. pretty new to Hearthstone. I mean, I've played it on and off since beta, but like I never got super into it. Yeah. I'm trying to get into it though. I'm I'm, I'm doing my I'm trying to do my homework. Yeah. Back to the uh, oversaturation thing I was talking about because like I think there was a RuneScape online trading card game. No way. Like, on Steam. Runes Wait, a RuneScape game on Steam? Yeah. And then, like, along with that, there was, like, you know, the Elder Scrolls online trading card game, the Witcher online trading card game based on the trading card game from in-game in Witcher 3 or whatever, I guess. Gwent. Gwent, Gwent. yeah. And there were, like, a bunch more. I can't Ooh. remember. Uh, what? Arfus. <laughs> hey, it's me, Orphis. What's going on, y'all? Where's Kelthazrod? I'm looking for my boy to get chilled with. Oh, man. Are you an undercover cop? What? No. No? Are you a cop? This is supposed to be a pretty good card, though, because uh, it, it has this effect. Add a random Death Knight card to your hand. The Death Knight cards are Wait. pretty insane. Arfus. Yeah. 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 Arf, like a dog, yeah. and that was a dog. Is yeah. that like fucking Arthas's crypto, the super dog? No, no, it's just, it's just a joke. Are like, you sure? It's like, oh, I got a legendary. It's Arf. Are you sure though? I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's like I really don't think it is, cause like Ice Crown Citadel was such like a serious instance. I doubt they yeah, took the time. Yeah, and Hearthstone is full of goofs and gaffs. Well, okay, yes, in, in that respect, you know, it, it might be Arthas's dog as a joke, but like, it's not like it exists in the Warcraft lore. It's, Unless we consider Hearthstone canon, which for all we know, we might. Shh. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure about that? I'm sort of sure. Yo, how many packs did you buy? 300. <laughs> what? No. Okay. You saw, I started off with 56. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what we got here. Last pack coming up. Last pack, I'm still waiting on Arthas. What does Keening mean? What does that even mean? I remember there was a there was a weapon Last by that Last pack, name pray for the best. Here we go. Come on, come on, Ben Brode. Give me something good. <laughs> ben Brode. Give me something good. I'm Arthas, and I rap. Oh, another Sanguine Reveler and two Venomancers. Are you kidding me? <laughs> look at the Web Weaver. He's like, look everyone, look what I did. <laughs> look what I can do. He just likes taking out his weaved web and card. showing everyone how well he did it. All right, you know what? While we talk, I'm gonna open my classic packs too. We could we could probably put in like a skip link on the video if people don't want to watch me open classic packs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Upgrade! Exclamation point. Ooh. Classic Ember. Preparation. So you're not gonna Pharaoh. get any of the Frozen Throne stuff here. Oh yeah, no. These are all cards. Oh, these are cards wait, that have. Wait, these look like Frozen Throne. Uh, no, that's my card back. Oh, what you modif- Yeah, uh, they're cosmetic card backs. It's also cosmetic heroes. And I know I was I was looking through the uh, the hero like directory before, and I saw that they added a fucking uh, they added uh, an Arthas hero now. I think it's over Paladin. It's an uncorrupted Arthas, which is pretty damn cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just him from early Warcraft 3. Yeah, but still, that was when Arthas was best, because he still had a hammer. Yes, that's true. Hammers over swords every day, all day. Uh, the way you get them, I think you have to clear the entire, uh, the entire Ice Crown Citadel adventure, which they added with this. Adventure! Adventure. <laughs> adventure. You know, I didn't... Fuck, I've been meaning to, like, verify this, but I heard that, uh... You, you remember Misadventures of Flatjack, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, we just referenced it, you stupid idiot. Yeah, I know. You stupid dog, you stupid, stupid dog. dog! But, uh, I heard that, uh, Captain Knuckles was voiced by Bill Murray's brother, <laughs> Bob Murray. I don't know uh, if I've that's seen real. I've Captain Knuckles' voice actor in live action shows. Uh huh. I'm gonna look up if his name is, in fact, Bob Murray. <laughs> Go for it, man. And while you do that, I'm going to try and make a deck no, out of these not. cards. No, you right. No, you not. <laughs> Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's, He's got radioactive, bud. That's not the right <laughs> Bob Murray. It's not? No, oh, it's oh, not. oh, oh, okay. I thought you were going to say, like, his name is Bob Murray, but he's not related to, uh, 
People look overhead. All right, how much dust am I getting? 835. That's not nearly as much as I'd hoped. Huh? Let's see. Don't fill your pockets have, full of dust. I got 123 common dupes from those packs. Very nice. Out of 250 cards, a little over 250 cards, I got 123 dupes. Half of them were dupes. This is my first time buying cards in Hearthstone, so I'm not, I'm not used to getting to open more than two packs at a time. Are you satisfied with this outcome? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. I got a, I got a eviscerated deck. Because I don't have any more deck slots. They really need to add deck slots. Uh, I don't want to touch this because, like, this one actually gets me wins, but it's not standard. Wait, what if I convert it to standard? It's not the meta! It's not the meta! Oh, really? All I got to do is get rid of Grim Patron? Sure, fuck it. Isn't that the one that was overpowered forever ago? He was really powerful for a time, yeah. Uh... You can just say broken. It's not difficult. <laughs> Well, oh my god, it's hanging. Select your character. Yeah, go for it. Man, I don't know why. This is this is my computer, I guess. Let's hanging on it. Hearthstone. Let's get it on down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Let's get it on down. Select okay, so let's see. Poster. Which of these should I delete? No, that one. I like that one. Let's see, which one doesn't get me wins? Let me try and remember. I think, uh, oh, this one. This one. I just assembled as a goof. Because there was like a daily quest that required me to, uh... There was a daily quest that required me to use a ton of secrets. And I didn't have a secret deck, so I just made this mage deck. I very much appreciate how Knuckles looked before he lost his whole body. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he was a fucking cyborg, right? What? Well, uh... <laughs> I guess, in, like, the weirdest sense. He was, yeah. I mean, he, it might not be, you know, uh, circuits and metal, but he was a cyborg in a He's sense. He's, like, 17 tiers lower than a one-piece cyborg. Okay. Kira, which hero do you think I should I should build a deck around? He is voiced by no, Bill Murray's brother, Brian Doyle Murray. Oh, Brian Murray. Okay. Custom deck. Alright, because I know I got, I got a bunch of really good Paladin cards, so I'm going to see about building a deck around those. So let's see. Alright, Kieran, I'm going to use this as a... Justice. I'm going to use this opportunity to give you a, a small tutorial about uh, games like this. How about no? <laughs> How about yes? Yeah, whatever. Do it. So here's the gist of it. There's a number of deck archetypes that realistically, if you know about them, you should sort of build your deck with the archetypes in mind. Because uh, that way, you know, y y your deck has consistency. And as far as I'm sort of aware, like, the, the core archetypes are aggro decks and control decks. Uh, what an aggro deck is, an aggro deck is the kind of deck where you want to get out a ton of small minions as early as you can and overwhelm your opponent is before they do anything. Is an aggro deck the kind of deck that has my Sword of Justice, which is just two swords stuck <laughs> together? together. <laughs> at the hilt? Yes. As a matter of fact, it is. I'm going to put this guy in because I like him. Um, and then there's control decks. And what control decks are, control decks <clears throat> are the polar opposite, where essentially you want to hold out for as long as possible so that your opponent, who is either I, playing an aggro deck... But, what? But, man, I didn't come here to learn at school. I came here to play Hearthstone. Well, yeah, I'm going. I'm learning while we're building it. I'm telling you while we're building it. You're deck. learning me the ways. Yeah, I'm learning you the ways. That's right. Um, gonna and, pick out a card at random. Gonna pick out a card at random. A uh, Grim Street Outfitter. He's already in. Nice hat. <laughs> <laughs> nice hat. But I don't trust him. That smile really shifty. Let's see. Let's trust get some rating goes down by like five. Let's see, I like this guy. Argent Protector. Yes. Um, and then control decks are the polar opposite of aggro, where the point is that you want to sort of outlast your opponent so that they exhaust their hand, they're top decking, and their board is clear so that you who... Yeah, yeah, but remove all the cards from your deck right now because Snowflipper Penguin has to be <laughs> the only card in your deck. <laughs> Zero cost. Can you go into a Hearthstone match with one card in your deck? No, you can't. Um, why? It just it just doesn't let you select them. Oh, I can disenchant my shield bearer because I have a gold one now. That's, that's cool! Um, oh, yeah, and there are also some cards that sort of... Uh, 
are good no matter what your deck is. Like the Senjin Sen Jin Shield Master. Shield Master. Yeah. He's he's considered a staple like no matter what you're running cuz his value is just too good. Does he follow a uh, Mastafarian or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, fuck off. Looted hoarder. What is that? I okay, don't... so let's see what have I got here? Phantom free looter. Got a bunch of cards, man. Oh, thanks. And your stupid hearts don't buy. I had no idea. Grave Maybe your Shandler. weapon is destroyed. That is so situational. <laughs> Death Axe Punisher. Is that a legendary or Ooh! is that just a gold card? I like this. I'm putting two of them in. Death Axe. Punisher. Also, this this deck's gonna be awful. Use all your uh, sanguine revelers. I'm putting Arthas in there. I'm putting Arthas in there. Oh yeah, sanguine reveler. Let's see. What did he do again? I don't know. Oh my God! How is it? <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> I have the microphone right here. What? We're all sang sanguine. Did I misspell it? Reveler? What? Oh wait, he was probably a class card. He might be another oh. class's card, so I can't use it as a paladin. Oh. It's whatever. I thought it was gonna be like a gotcha. You didn't ask gotcha. to get these cards. Alright, I don't know how good he is, but I, I've been fond of Stegadon. Man, I wish you could go into it. Okay, it like froze up. Anyway. Yeah, it does that. I wish you could go into a Hearthstone match with like only so many cards. With like <laughs> five cards in your deck, and it would be like interesting just to see what you. Because, I mean, you wouldn't win like ever, but the Ooh. challenge would be to see with how few cards you could win against some people. That's the kind of thing I sort of love about, like, something like Payday 2. I mean, they're completely different games, but, like, you know, builds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hear you. Because, like, I love playing Payday 2. I got to, like, Infamy 8 this year. I haven't played in, like, a month, but, like, fucking Payday 2 is so fun. I can't wait for it to come out on Switch. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to be pretty fucking cool, getting to play it on the go. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it does include the DLC, because, like, I can swear I saw, what was the name, Sydney in the trailer. Yeah. it It's supposed to include, like, all the DLC, I think. Maybe even Ethan and Ela, But, like, I don't know. Whenever they come out. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess it can't come out before them, huh? Because it's slated for winter 2017, but we haven't heard anything about it, so a delay is probably expected. Never should have come here! Can't wait for ukulele on Switch, either. I, I, I need my code, Platonic. Aldor Peacekeeper. Change an enemy, wait, do I already have... Oh, here we go, Select this is a good one. Card. Set a minion's attack and health. That's good. It's versatile. Dark Conviction. Yeah. That one's cool because I can use it to uh, reduce the stats of an enemy minion, or I can buff the stats <laughs> of my minion. <clears throat> but what about Hammer of Wrath? Don't you want to throw hammers at people? <laughs> Let me see. Four. I have too many fours in my deck. In fact, I have to get rid of something. What is the four? That's uh, like the a mana value? cost. Yeah, oh, okay. the mana cost. Basically, another another thing in the game is that you want to have a good curve. So, like you know, if you're if you're playing an aggro deck, you want your curve to be. <laughs> you want it to yeah. You want it to be so that the curve like it starts off high at the lower numbers, and you have fewer of the uh, higher cost cards. Mm. Uh, and if you're playing control, you want to have more of the higher cost cards, but fewer of the lower number numbers. Mm. But you still want to have kind of a balance because you don't want to be completely screwed if the game's running long and you're an aggro deck yeah. and you don't want to be completely screwed if you know you're getting stomped by an aggro deck and you're a control deck um you don't want them to beat you by having your 40 card deck run out of cards and yep. then once you're out of cards if you can't draw you lose the game you're a third rate duelist with a fourth rate deck <laughs> yugi yugi I I I settled Kaiba. What's a good three drop? Draw cards. Uh, I like this guy a little bit. Do you? Just a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. Give friendly minion immune. That's pretty good. You speak death. No. I'm not personally very fluent in death. 
I can't really speak it. I can write it. I can't speak it. Right. You know, I have a feeling this guy's gonna bog me down. Get huh. rid of him. Let's see. <clears throat> Give me a couple of fives. <clears throat> uh, Fen creeper. I need what? more taunt. Taunt. What does taunt do? Taunt makes it so that uh, if you have that on the board, enemy creatures have to attack it before they can attack you or your non-taunt minions. Huh. It's pretty useful. You and know I what I just one. realized? What's up? Uh. The fuck am I doing? I think I remember that we used to have it that I was on the right side of the mic and you were on the left side. Oh no, we're gonna confuse people. <laughs> we're gonna confuse people. You're gonna hear me in your left ear. Not actually. I think we might have been. Like this in Dark Souls? Yeah, I don't know. We switched it up, if I recall. I'm gonna try to go kinda aggro. So let's see. Oh, oh I know what I want. I know oh, what I want. I know what aggro. I want. It's like one of my favorite cards. Help me kill oh. the Colossus aggro! Happy Ghoul? Uh, if your hero was healed this turn, that's that's like a priest card. What kind of a name is Happy Ghoul? <laughs> happy, so ghoul happy. happy Ghoul more. Ah, uh, here we go. This is what I wanted. The Razor Fen Hunter. Because uh, when you summon the Razor Fen Hunter, it summons another monster. And what I'm kind of going for in this deck is buffing monsters. Uh, I have a bunch of cards that buff. Uh, providing divine shields. And also mass buffing monsters. I have this one card. Oh, Grim Street Outfitter. Uh, gives all minions in my hand plus one, plus one. A light in the darkness. I know that one. That's the gun that the guy used in Fallout New Vegas. The light and shining darkness. <laughs> it's like, hey, dude, could you get any edgier with that name? I literally got burned half to death, okay? I can be a little edgy. <laughs> I'm allowed. It's like, fine. It's your gun, man. It's your gun. That's all I'm saying. Gun man. Kieran, I just came up with an idea for a superhero. Uh huh. Somebody called DC Comics. <laughs> His power is gun. His gun. You know what's funny? Uh, like from the end of uh, Hero Academia Season 1. There was like, uh, I think it's DC Universe Online or some shit. I just want to say I'm going in. First ranked match with this deck. Let's see oh, how it goes. Oh, goody. Oh, good, yes. I was on Steam, and I saw DC Universe Online, and you can, like, buy as DLC more powers to use on your character. And, like, I saw, okay, okay, like, Celestial Powers, Light Powers, Rage Powers, Munitions Powers. Munitions. So uh, your so power like is literally gun. <laughs> My power is gun! Gun! <laughs> <laughs> How does your power beat everyone else's power? My spider! Because it's a gun. Do you just love how I'm stealing other people's jokes in our video? Yeah, I love it. I also love that Hellbenders episode 2 leaked. Go watch it. I don't think, I don't think Chris O'Neill likes it. I, I don't know. I don't know what's up with it leaking. But, like... I haven't maybe, it's a, maybe it's a rights thing. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen they... it in forever, and I'm... Glad almost that it leaked because I want to see more of it. Wait, you Orvis! <laughs> oh shit! Bork, Bork! I'm feeling good, man! <laughs> what is. Oh shit, dude, this is a good fucking hand! Crisis protector! The coin. Oh, fuck that. Oh, he has a prince, so. Well, that's he's one of the older ones. That's Prince Malakazar. He's actually from Karazhan. Uh, basically, the way he works is if he's just in your deck. He didn't play Prince Malakazar. Mm -hmm. If he's just in your deck, then uh, I'm going to. Oh wait, no. This. Uh, fuck. Righteous protector. Rank three outfitter. Rank three outfitter. You're timed, right? Yeah, yeah. Where's the timer? I just made the wrong move. I definitely just made the wrong move. Oh. Anyway, um, well, it doesn't show you the timer until you're running out of time, and then it's like you have 20 seconds and a rope runs along the screen right here. Oh. Reporting for duty. Huh. All right, so let's see. What have... Ooh! I like this. He's sparkly. Yeah, because uh, he got buffed. This is a good card. It's a good card. I probably should have kept one in my hand. Placing <laughs> uh, all your cards on the table, quite literally. Yeah. This one's a good card because it has Taunt and Divine Shield. So Taunt, he has to attack it, and then Divine Shield means that uh, the first attack made against the minion, no matter what, 
uh, will uh, fail. But the opponent will still take the damage All on right, their minion. let's see what happens. Okay, Ramblers, let's get rambling. Oh, yeah! Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Burger, Robo Burger. All right, I'm doing this. Can we talk to the humans? See a little understanding can make things better. Let's see go. what happens next. He attacks the player directly. Ooh, good move, good move. Good move, good move indeed. Why would two paladins fight each other? That's a good question. Oh, well, you see, I'm a... I'm a Sun Fury Paladin. I'm a Blood Elf. He's a human. Also, that's Uther. Yeah, I know. Just wanted to. I know Uther. I played Heroes of the Storm to get the D.Va costume that they released later on. Did later they release on. it ever? I can't remember. I don't know. Ah, oh, this is some garbage. There was a bit of like a blowback because people found in like, uh, you know, the PTR or playtesting or some shit that uh -huh. like uh. They were gonna like release the skins to be able to gotten outside of the event, which would kind of suck for us, you know, people who wasted the time, kind of. Oh, I forgot Arthas is a death rattle, so he only triggers his effect when he dies. Oh. So I have to kill him. <laughs> kill him. Kill him with this. Here, kill him with this. And then they like slip a card in my hand. Also, this guy's like useless now. Cause Don't do it, moves. Anakin. <laughs> You underestimate my power! And then he does a flip! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm fucking up hard. Frostmorn! It's Frostmorn! Yes! Oh my god, this is. I think this is supposed to be like the best card. Granted, it's seven, so I can't even use it for two more turns. But yeah, that's supposed to be like the best card in the set. Oh, really? Uh, the best Death Knight card, I should say. Because uh, its effect is out of out of control. I mean, it would make sense, wouldn't it? It's fucking Frostmorn. Oh yeah, absolutely. Do right. Death Knights get Frostmorn as their, like, class weapon in WoW's latest shit? Nah, they don't. What? Uh, basically, because Frostmorn itself is a Lich King artifact. So, like, a normal person can't get it because they would become the Lich King. Um, instead, they could but, get like, something it... called Shadowmorn, which was, like, shards of Frostmorn, like, reforged into, like, a otherwise powerful weapon. Fuck this guy! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Where can I see who's winning? What do you mean? I don't know. Like, is it the heart up there? The bleed icon? Ah, yeah, whatever. Just keep uh, going with your shit. Oh, I think I see. Well, to figure out who's winning, you sort of have to interpret everything on the board here. So, like, he's winning in life. So, by traditional metrics, that means he's winning. But, like, I have more cards in my hand, which means I have more of an ability to turn it around right now. Um, that's the gist of it. Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna take out this guy, because I'm just gonna go for face, as they say. Goodbye! Forever! Oh, I can do this. This is why I said it's a versatile card. If they drop a big monster, I can use it to change the big monster down to 3-3, but if I have a small monster, I can upgrade it to 3-3. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's move! And now our hands are tied, and he has the life lead, so he is essentially winning. And he just took out my monster. I hope he summons a big monster, because the next next turn I'm going to frost mourn it. No big monster? No big green? You killed the Ooh. Okay. Igneous. That's elements. what I want to see. Aren't you using a lot of mana? Well, yeah, but it regenerates every turn. Okay. Does all of it come back every yep. turn? All of it. Okay. All of it plus one, because each turn you get one more mana. Until turn ten, at which point it's maxed. You dab your fingers down in that little mana pool down yeah, there. No, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, he physically nobody could see dabbed. Physically dabbed. He I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. No, but your little dwarf trading card player like dabs his fingers in that little fountain over there. Ooh. Sprinkles Ooh. it on his face. My man is back. Oh, oh here we go. Back. Check this out. I, I I always dig this. Okay. The way this weapon works is that whenever I summon a minion, it gets plus one, plus one, but it loses the durability. So now I summon these one cost, <laughs> one, two sprites, and they become two threes for one cost. And then I also hit reinforce. There we go. Granted, I can't really, like, use this sword. Why are they all asleep? You know what? Fuck it. Oh, yeah, when you summon them, they have summoning sickness, so oh. that you can't just attack as soon as you get them. But there are some cards that have charge, 
Mm -hmm. So charge. This is this probably sounds like the worst Hearthstone tutorial ever. Anyway, there are some cards with uh, charge, and basically they can attack the turn they're summoned. Hmm. And he dropped a legendary, which is yeah, that thing has twelve health. Good ass, yeah. But He's wait, Sarah. ooh, ooh. Wait, can I do this? Can I do this? Let's you see. Frost mourn it? Oh fuck! I can't yet. Shit. <laughs> Change an enemy minion's attack to one. Give a friendly minion immune. <gasps> oh my Oh my god, I could do this! It'll have summoning sickness, won't it? No, because Frostmourne is a weapon. The hero never gets summoning sickness, so I could Boom! Oh man! Check this out. <laughs> oh no, when I lose the weapon. Okay, when I lose the weapon, I get it. Okay, so I have to attack two more times before I get it. I got so excited. I thought it was instant. I was <laughs> well, I so mean, excited. At least you're doing damage now. Oh yeah, yeah, I've I've turned it around a little bit. But he's got card advantage, which means he has I have board advantage, which means like if he doesn't do anything, like I'm ahead, but he's got more cards in his hand, so he has more of an ability to turn the game uh, in his favor. Are you laning right now? Are you laning, bro? Yep. Wait, he just dropped Millhouse Mana Storm? I can I can I can get that. <laughs> I can get that. Oh, wait, no. He's kind of trying to shit. What? He's kind of trying to bait me into using up Frostmourne. Uh, so that, wait. Oh, my enemy spells. Oh, fuck. That's awesome. Let's see. Oh. Well, he's actually not that great because he's supposed to be something you have in your deck at the beginning of the game. Oh. Also, is that Joe Madria? That looks like Joe Madria art. <laughs> um, so or as you used to say, attack. Joe Madarera. Yeah, Joe Madarera. That that might be correct for all I know. I don't think I've ever heard somebody say his name out loud. Should Dude, I? Murloc. Fuck it. I guess mm. he's the best thing I can pull right now. Oh, because of his health Why does and he his have durability. Plus one, plus one. I don't know. Oh, the card I just used. I'm an idiot. What you gonna do, man? So let's see. Ah, shit. I really don't know. Because hey. uh, trying to do? I can use. Ah, shit. Get friendly, man. Fuck it, I want that Isera, so I'm gonna try to use that up as soon as I can. Um, let's see. Friendly minion, Prince Malkazar. Yeah, fuck it, we're going for it. Very nice. That was a good move from the player. That was a good move. It's a very good move. Let's see if he can. Let's see if uh, he can make some magic happen. Nah, I should be shoutcasting this. Oh man, he's got four monsters on the field, and his hero still has ten health. Oh, Let's see what no. happens now. Oh, uh, did something happen? He played the Death Knight hero card. So now he gets a free 5-3 weapon, and he gets a new power. And the Death Knight Paladin has a really fucking cool power. Normally, when the Paladin hits this button, they get a 1-1 one -one monster. So, you know, this guy. Mm. Um, but his... The one he just played, and oh shit, I just four. realized I'm one hit from death. Yeah. Um, instead, he summons a 2-2, two, two, and if he has four, he wins the game. It's Exodia, basically. What? Yeah. He has to have them all on the field, though, which means they have to uh, not get killed. But I... From the minion, Exodia. change with minion's attack. Can I cast that on him? No, I don't think so. That would be uh, lame. So let's do this. Boom. Why can you attack directly past monsters? Uh, well, that's what taunts are for. It's, uh, I guess it's sort of a holdover from the Magic the Gathering inspiration, but I'm sure there's a more in-depth uh, explanation. Do you All have right, anything to taunt? Yeah, I have this guy. Okay. So if he gets, uh... So if if he can get rid of my Fen Creeper right now... Then I lose. I I'll cry. Draw cards until you draw one that isn't a dragon. Oh, but he just played six. He can't do much with form. No. No. He just won. <laughs> oh. I'm so mad. <laughs> you don't sound that mad. That was a good game. That was a good game. Good moves on both players' parts. That was great. Great. I'm so happy. Click to continue. <laughs> Click to continue. Sorry. So here, Karen, I feel like we've got some time left. I want you to play a game. No. Nah. No? Come on. Here. Come on. We'll switch seats. I don't... I'll, I'll guide you through it. No. Because I don't care about cards. Come on. Maybe you'll have fun. Nah. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, man. I just I just promised like ten more minutes of game. Did you? I said we've got time. Oh. Well, no, we don't. <laughs> Roll the ending footage. Ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum. Okay, I guess that's it then.